it's only August. <laughs> right, I'll see you later, Pete. Keep me looking, sir. Cheers, pal. There she is. In for a MOT test. Alright, we're going to slowly walk back and the wife's going to pick me up. So she's on her way to get me. Now, funnily, this garage, Bailey's garage, is at the top of the road where I grew up. So this is the road I grew up on. Actually, we'll walk past the house. Um, well, I spent most of my teenage years and where I met the wife, actually, as well. That's the house. That's the house I grew up in. And just down the side there, the drive, by other if you can see the back gate. That's where I used to keep my bikes. So we're probably talking 25 years ago, so it was quite safe then to leave your bike outside all night. And they never got stolen. I started out with my DT50, my Yamaha, my first bike. And I also had my RGV 250 there. Seems funny now, actually walking down this road. This is the way I used to walk to school. We're using this little um, go procession at the moment. Because I got up this morning, put my Drift to Ghost 4K on, and I'd forgot to charge it. So it was flat. That's where Daddy grew up. Here? This one here, I see. Right. That bedroom on the left was Daddy's bedroom and what's car coming? Mum used to come and meet me here, didn't you? Yeah. And hold my hand. Yeah. Alright, what it? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Right, drifts charged this time because I've got something to tell you on the way home. Right, come with me. Is the car locked? Now, last year. There was no advisories whatsoever on the MOT and I'm expecting the same. I'm expecting she has passed with flying colours. If she hasn't, I think I might cry. Thanking you sir. Big pal. There she is. There she is. Did she do good? Was she a good girl? Yeah. I would think with easy. You can get a suitcase under there. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, sir. I'll see you next year. Bait. So 
So she passed with flying colours, as expected. I knew she would, because she's a good girl. Is it a cat? Hello, mate. Right. So she's passed. Let's just check the drift is on. Yep, drift is recording. Because like a donkey, I left it flat this morning. Right then, so yeah, we visited here earlier. And that's where I used to live. The memories, the memories. Yeah, so I used to come here at my DT. Yamaha DT50, that was my first bike. Red and white. I'll try and find a picture similar to what I had. My dad stripped it and rebuilt it for me. And then from there I had an RGV 250. Which was in the Pepsi Lucky Strike colours, the Kevin Swans. Love that bike. But that got um, that got stolen, that did. And we found it wrapped around a goalpost in West Bromwich. So that was the end of that. Right. So let's move on. So we've been speaking to a good friend of ours recently, Mr. Steve Clark from Ricky's Last Ride. Met him the weekend when we went to the Walbad Weekender. Had an absolutely fantastic weekend. Weather wasn't brilliant, but it was a really, really good weekend. Got to meet the Walbad family, and what a special bunch they are. But anyway, yeah, speaking to uh, Steve Clark, we're going to try and arrange, uh, I'm not going to say too much, but we're going to try and arrange a little ride with him around the October time. So um, we'll let you know more on the info on that. But anyhow, yeah, so the little thing I wanted to talk about. And we received... Um, a bit of negative feedback last night uh, which I suppose we are all going to get because not everybody's going to like your channel um, some people might like prefer people who do actual reviews of bikes and that uh, where we uh, we do a few little reviews but ma our videos are mainly when we're out riding and us talking and having a bit of banter but anyhow um be part of a Facebook group. I'm not going to say the name of the actual group. Um, I've been probably a member on there probably about a year, I think. It's not been too long, it's not been too short, but I've been quite um, an active member on there. Joining in with quite a few of the other people. Discussions and trips they are doing and tours they are doing and you know, your general, your general motorcycle Facebook group. Obviously found quite a few people on there have done tours different parts of the country, which, you know, which has inspired us, give us ideas. I suppose kind of like a Facebook group like this, you know, it, um, it's kind of what it actually what inspired us. Which is what made me think a couple of years ago, right, I want to get back on the bike, I want to do some riding. Rich at work had his bike, Goose, as you all know. And I said to him, I would love to go camping on the bike. Something he always wanted to do, but, but said, I've never had anybody to go with. So that's that's where it was born. That's where we started. So anyhow, these Facebook groups have been very helpful. And whenever we've done some tours, we've shared the videos on this page, you know, and said, we've been here so-and-so, check out the video. Received some good comments, had some likes, a lot of people have come to the channel and subscribed to it, so all was good. Anyhow, last night I uploaded episode 5 of the Isle of Wight tour. Um, shared it on some of the motor vlogger groups we're part of, and also on this particular page. And I then had a message on there, a comment saying... If I remember right, um, didn't you get, didn't you read the message or didn't you get the hint? Hold on a minute, there's a Chinook. Chinook, 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 something like that. A military helicopter, anyway. Bloody, that's quite low. Maybe they're coming to get me. I'm down here! 
down here. Uh, right, come on, Craig. Stop digressing. Just get on with it. Anyhow, um, right, I better go around the block at night to finish this story. So anyhow, yes, so I had this uh, message on this group saying, you know, didn't you get the message or something along those lines. So I replied on that, um, sorry, um, I must be a little bit confused. Have I missed something? And then they replied, read back further. So I went further back and obviously what I'd noticed was I think today's Friday, I think it was either when Wednesday, I think, I put up episode four. And a person commented on there, um, nobody's interested in your videos, give it up. But obviously I didn't see that comment. So, so obviously I replied on there, um, oh, okay. You know, I basically put sorry, you know, um, I didn't see that message. And... I suppose I was a little bit sarcastic, but not too much. I put, oh, well, thanks for the support. Um, it then turned quite ugly, actually. Um, the person then kept coming on there saying, you know, nobody likes your videos, haven't you noticed? Nobody's commented, nobody's liking them. They're boring, we don't want to see them. I thought, oh, okay then, that's fair enough. Obviously, as you said, yes, not everyone's going to like our videos, and people will find them boring and they won't like them that's understandable you're not going to appeal to everybody so obviously I I didn't bite back I thought no I'm not going to go and um, get into a vicious online argument so I basically just you know I apologise I'm, I'm sorry it's offended you me putting my videos on there um, I basically explain that you know through sites like yours is what inspired us you're all talking about doing tours and you upload your pictures and where you are and what you've done so I did the same with our videos this is where we've been they then come back with kind of basically saying the Isle of Wight is rubbish don't know why you bothered going there you want to go up north I thought okay then so we are just biased to the north then I thought fair enough if you don't like the Isle of Wight you don't like it if you don't like our video you didn't like it I thought but um seemed a bit a bit aggressive um, so I did say then you know obviously oh that was it they then said you're only coming on here because you've got no reputation which I then replied saying you know that's fair enough no we haven't got a reputation you know we are trying we are new at this we are trying to build this and um, through sites like yours what inspired us that's why we wanted to share the videos um, I said, but I think I may have got this wrong then. I apologise. They then replied saying that, I guess you did. Now get your coat on the way out. And I thought, this is a bit extreme, this is. It's... But what I then later found out is this person, I mean, this group has got quite a few thousand members. So it, it's a big group, it's a popular group. There's a lot of communication on there, a lot of chat. So um, I like the group. I have some good conversations on there. But this, this person who was... Um, basically having a dig is actually the admin of the page now I don't know if he's the actual owner or just an admin of it but I thought that's a quite an aggressive stance from an admin oh Mr Gear I thought I'm a bit harsh I mean obviously I'd imagine all the other um, members of the group could see this conversation going on but I've, you know I still didn't bite I wasn't going to get into an argument and I, I, I again then I apologised and I said you know I'm sorry for this you know our idea was inspired from groups like yours and I promise you we will not share any more videos on there and I'm more than happy if you want I will personally leave the group if I've caused that much offence which they then replied uh, no you don't need to leave the group feel free to talk to the other people um, but don't basically use my site to show people your videos um, okay he said maybe you should try and start a Facebook page and then you might see how hard what hard work is so I thought hmm okay you've started a Facebook page which yes we've got and yeah they take some manning and managing 
I thought before a private group, one of these community groups is your viewers are providing the content. You chip in and you put yours, but you know, your majority of your work is coming from your thousands of your members. And I thought, well, us making these videos is, that's purely us putting all the work in. All the touring, all the editing, all the hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of footage to edit. So I replied on there, you know, thank you very much. And I basically said yes. I said, um, funny enough, I said most of our comments and likes we get actually on the YouTube channel, not on Facebook. I says, and yes, I understand the hard work that's involved. Thank you very much for being so understanding. So, you know, I wasn't, um, I didn't bite. I didn't get aggressive. I sincerely apologised. Um, but I then looked through the page. I thought, right, let me go and look through all the stuff I've put on there and posted. And I could see all the conversations I've had and chipped into other people's stories and so and so. I can see all the videos we've put on there and... You know, I thought, hold on a minute, we've got loads of comments on here, loads of likes. I thought this guy's saying that nobody likes our videos, and so he was kind of talking on behalf of the members. So I don't know whether he was, or he just personally don't like what we do. And obviously this uh, admin person, he's quite an active... You know, he does quite a bit of touring, he's quite active. Um, and there was a lot of messages on there of where he's been and what's it, what he's been doing and so and so and so and so. But there wasn't a lot of uh, photos or actually of any footage of him doing these tours. So, you know, obviously yet not everybody films what they do on the bikes, which I understand. So, um, there we go, we've had our first bit of um, negative feedback and... We are probably going to get quite a bit more as we go on. It's understandable because people won't like us. People might want to hurl abuse towards us, but I will let you all know now. I won't bite, so throw what you like. We are a civilised group. We are not aggressive. We're too old and too stupid to get into aggressive arguments. So if you don't like us, don't watch us. Or if you don't like us and you want to throw comments at us, then by all means throw them. But don't expect to get into a bit of a, um, an argument with us because that ain't going to happen. And saying that, which um, which leads me on to Teapot One. And I believe this fella has also been having a bit of a problem with one of his... Um, I think subscribe previous subscribers to his channel which they've been um, giving him a bit of grief and have actually reported him to the police so I suppose these people are out there to try and pick a fault or find anything we do wrong but anyhow all is good it's Friday the sun's out the bike's past its MOT I'm happy We've done Snowden tour, we've done Isle of Wight tour, we've done the World Bad Weekend. I'm about to go on holiday. We're going to sort a couple more rides out after the holidays. We're going to sort something with Ricky's last ride. So all in all, I feel we've had a good year. Our subscribers are growing, which is nice to see. And thank you for those who have subscribed. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch our videos and to even like us.